let's look at how to turn on encryption for your computer. I'll start with showing you how to turn it on for a Windows machine. So Windows uses BitLocker, which helps protect your data from unauthorized access. BitLocker encryption is available and supported on most Windows machines. If you're running Windows 10 or newer, this should automatically be turned on for your device, but we can check this in the settings too. To check if yours is turned on, go to the Start menu and use the search box to type in BitLocker and there'll be an option here that says Manage BitLocker. You want to select this option and open it up in the control panel. This is where you can see if BitLocker is switched on for your device. If it reads BitLocker off, then hit the Turn on BitLocker button. A BitLocker recovery key is created when you encrypt your computer. This recovery key can help you unlock your device if you forget your password. It's a good idea to have a copy of this and keep it in a safe place that's not on your computer. The encryption process can take anywhere between 20 minutes to a couple of hours, depending on how much data you have. Take this time to turn on BitLocker encryption. Apple computers use FileVault to encrypt your computer and protect your data. To turn it on, you go to your settings and scroll down to Privacy and Security. There is an option at the bottom to turn on FileVault. It will then ask you to verify that it's you by typing in your username and password for your computer. When you turn on FileVault, you can choose how you want to unlock your startup disk if you ever forget your password. So you can choose to have a recovery key and keep it somewhere safe, or you have the option to use your iCloud account, which saves you having to keep track of a separate recovery key. Now it's your turn. Turn on FileVault to encrypt the information on your Mac.